The Captain Marvel absurdity just does not stop. We have a new article here. And Sam Jackson... Sam Jackson. A man who uh, I am a fan of. I've enjoyed so many of Samuel L. Jackson's performances. But he decided to just jump right in with with Brie Larson into the craziness of the <laughs> of Captain Marvel. So we have here an article from the Washington Times. Samuel L. Jackson adds to Captain Marvel PR nightmare, likens Trump to plantation owner. This is the last thing that they need for this movie right now. Actor Samuel L. Jackson's decisions to liken President Trump to a Civil War era plantation owner is not likely to thrill movie producers who are dealing with a public relations nightmare for the upcoming Captain Marvel movie. That is all pretty accurate. Um, the people who are in PR for Captain Marvel are probably panicking with everything that's happening right now with Captain Marvel, and rightly so, because we are speaking with our with our minds about this whole situation with Captain Marvel, and we are not happy with the direction that Disney and Marvel are going with Captain Marvel, and because of that, we are going to speak out against it. Yeah, you can try to stop us on Ron Tomatoes, but you're not going to stop us from from speaking our, our opinions and going to, or not going, I should say, to support your movie. The man who plays Nick Fury for Marvel Studios waded into racial politics on Monday while controversy swirls around Captain Marvel lead Brie Larson for comments she made about white men and the patriarchy. Trump said that he's done more for African Americans than almost any other president. A TMZ reporter told Mr. Jackson as he walked through LA International Airport, um, yeah, he's got a bigger plantation, Mr. Jackson replied. Yikes. This is absolutely insane. Look, I am not a big Trump supporter. I did not support him during the election or anything. I've come to appreciate him more as he's actually been in, in um, as a president and stuff and all that. But what he has done for African Americans has been impressive. Seriously, the the unemployment rate for African Americans as is at an all time low. These people will deny facts completely. They they just will flat out deny facts. This is where we're at right now with these these lunatics. These people who are on the far left, these people, these SJWs, Hollywood in general. These people, they I can't believe that these people will just like look look at facts right in the face and be like, "No, no. No, 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 no. He's got a bigger plantation." What? What are you even talking about? This is insane, man. Samuel L. Jackson, man. You can't say crap like this, man. Seriously, especially with everything that's happening with Captain Marvel right now. Please, don't don't go down this road. Please. I want, he, look, Brie Larson and, and Samuel L. Jackson have been spending so much time together. Brie Larson better not be poisoning the brain of Samuel L. Jackson. Ugh, man. Look, I don't know, I... I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if Samuel L. Jackson has ever really said anything like this before, you know? I don't know if he's really come out politically like this before. But I just don't know, man. Marvel has never been political in any any of their marketing for their movies. What's happening? What is going on right now? <laughs> uh Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about this insanity. And uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, I guess. And with that being said, I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.